an eco-architect, urban planner, and academic at the forefront of sustainable built environment agenda. Jason Pomeroy is one of the world's thought leaders on sustainable design. The founding principal of Pomeroy Studio, a Singapore-based sustainable design firm, Jason is also the host of City Time Traveler, an award-winning architecture travel show on Channel News Asia. Today, we are in conversation with Jason to find out more about his upcoming book published with Routledge, titled Cities of Opportunities. I read a lot of interviews online and you mentioned um, Bandung, Amsterdam, and how Amsterdam is like a prime example of a smart city and how we should aspire to become like that. So, um, you know, how do you think the Amsterdam story can be replicated in Asia Pacific? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, let, let, let me just clarify one yes. thing there. I'm not saying that I'm holding, I'm not holding Amsterdam up as some yeah. sort of a panacea yeah. to our global carbon woes. Okay. What I'm saying is that there are some remarkable examples of smart cities around the world, if we are to use the term smart, because it's right. become so ubiquitous and overused, just like the term sustainable. Yeah. A few years ago, uh, I did a TV series called Smart Cities, where I kind of visited uh, eight yes. smart yes. cities yes. around yes. the world and basically started to define them in in the realms of three generations of smart city. Technology uh, has often been implemented at a government level with the support of private corporations to mm -hmm. try and spur the economy yeah. Yeah. Uh, moving forward. Yeah. Examples like Songdo, for instance. The only reason I mention Amsterdam <laughs> yeah. is because, well, it is wonderful in so far as it has got the support of the government, right. but it's very much a grassroots movement where people and their commentary on how the city can be improved through technology yes. is being listened to. In Amsterdam, you've got a wonderful opportunity for four spheres of influence mm -hmm. to work together. Yes. You've got the people saying, do you know what, this will be really good for our city, can it work? Yeah. And you've got the academics kind of saying, do you know what, we've got a proof of concept and I think it would work and I think it will enhance the people's lives on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the private corporations saying, do you know what, we'll throw some money into making a proof of concept and yes. seeing how this could be an opportunity to enhance the local economy. Yes. And then the government saying, do you know what, we'll support this scheme. Yeah. Readers or viewers of this video to take away from this book, Cities of Opportunities. Well, <laughs> one, obviously it's going to be a remarkable companion to the World Urban Forum that's being held in yeah. Abu Dhabi. Yes. And I think that uh, what we can see in uh, the subject of this particular forum uh, by the United Nations Habitat Group mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, the book itself is that cultural sustainability is very important right. and it should be added to the often held kind of three, the triple bottom line of social, yes. economic and environmental. Yeah. I would say that any smart student, academic, policy maker or professional may mm -hmm. want to use this as a reference material right. because Ultimately, it's looking at the concepts of culture and innovation as catalysts for a city's growth across a broad range of different viewpoints from mm -hmm. professionals, legislators and academics. And they've all contributed to this yeah. book across five different continents and a, a, a diverse range of disciplines yeah. as well. So in that respect, um, people should go and buy it. <laughs>